First, we need to set an eye level perspective. Go to Assets, Model, and add a figure model onto the ground. Move the camera next to the figure's shoulder. Set the focal length as 24mm, that's it, a standard eye level view. Turn off auto exposure and save the shot. Now, we are going to set the nighttime environment. It's better to choose a dark blue HDRI than a pure black one. Adjust its brightness and rotate the sky to an appropriate angle. Move on to edit materials. Select window frames with the hotkey I. Give it a metal material from D5 Asset Library. Then, choose a glass material and add it to the window. For a commercial complex, you can make the lower glass more transparent and the upper one more specular. Continue to edit the road material. Stretch its UV to get a dense texture. You should give it a dark color. Repeat the process on other materials, making sure they look consistent with the nighttime atmosphere. Now, we are going to enrich the surrounding context. First, add some withered trees. Copy the model with Ctrl and D, hold the key C to resize it and R to rotate it. This will make trees look more natural. For trees on the right side, you can choose one from D5 Asset Library. Select its leaf, change its material template to fabric, and reduce its transparency to zero. The tree becomes withered. Keep using this trick to add trees around the building. Making the glass reflection more beautiful, you need to add decorative buildings around. This building's group can be found in D5 Forum Scene Express. We'll put the link in the description. Here comes one of the most important steps, lighting. Add a rectangular light and increase its size and attenuation radius. Put it into the ground floor. Create a few copies of this light to brighten up full space. You can link them together with hotkeys control and G. Now, adjust their color to warm yellow. Copy and paste the lights group to the first floor. We need to flip the lights so that they can illuminate the ceiling. First, press shift and G to ungroup them. Multi-select all these lights and rotate them by 180 degrees along the Y-axis. Then, put them into a group again. Note that we need to keep the lighting intensity on the upper floor a bit dimmer than on the lower floor. This is a must to create such a fading effect. Repeat this process until the whole building is lit up. Choose some furniture you like and put them into the building. Move on to make the street more lifelike. First, position an animated traffic light at the crossroad. It can be the finishing touch when you create an animation. Continue to add street lights. Here's a trick that you can select the light material and make it emissive. Duplicate the street light and link them into a group. You can add this group to local library, so it's easier to grab and use the combo for other places. Now, add some rails along the street. Use the path tool to draw a line of hedges. To make the green belt look more natural, you can adjust its size, random direction, and random spacing. Remember to put an edging ring below.
Here's a trick to quickly create a wet road after rain, reducing the roughness of the road texture. Decals from D5 Asset Library are super handy to create pedestrian crossing. Tone down its opacity a bit to fit into the road. Making the street look more atmospheric, we are going to put some area lights. They don't need to be very bright. Add some lighting fixtures on the ceiling. To add animated traffic flow, choose some vehicles from D5 Asset Library, select the Path tool and change it to Curve Mode. Done. You've just completed a lively commercial complex. That completes our tutorial. Remember to follow our channel for more tutorials.